Cool. Hi, everyone. Uh, so, more <laughs> about that gerbil coming out of your ass. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so, I am Alex of Crucible Magazine, and uh, my companion over here is TJ from Crucible Magazine. Say hello, TJ. Hello, TJ. Um, so, we are doing a bit of an off the cuff uh, video to go over a few things. We're going to tell you uh, what we've been doing, what we're currently doing, and what we're going to be doing next. Uh, it's been a bit of a weird month, and so we, we we felt that we needed to address a few things, right? I yeah, think. you know, just kind of a you know open communication, transparency, and like we, that's the way we kind of like to do things here. Yeah. Um. So me and TJ just come off the back of a two-hour meeting with each other, kind of discussing um uh, so many different things about sign out the print, uh, the print for issue one, discussing the the timeline and the workflow of issue two which we're in the process of wrapping up and then also where we're at with issue three and then we decided like hey let's let's make let's make a video so this is a very amateurish suddenly put together <laughs> over obs working out some different stuff um so yeah we're gonna we're, we're, we're gonna kind of like talk over some stuff it's a little bit of a longer one i don't know how long this is gonna be i feel like it's yeah. We got, a lot, we got a lot of topics. Like, there's a lot going on. That's the that's the that's the yeah. beauty of what we do here. Is like we there's there's no there's there's no downtime really. <laughs> so no. There's, we, there's always things to talk about. Yeah, and and our five minute interview, uh, our five minute meetings are always about thirty minutes. <laughs> so yeah. This, yeah, it's this, a New York minute, as, as we call it. Yeah. So this this could go anyway. Um. So first things first, um, the print magazine, we, we have just gone, th uh, so the print for issue one, uh, TJ and I have gone through the issue. We um, originally got a demo print made and sent to us. Do you want to show it off? He wants to show it off. Yeah. <laughs> Not the final cover. This was just our test for doing call, like the actual... Yeah. Um, we wanted to see what it looked like when it came into print, like, you know, testing out all the colors, the, the variations, how the margins work. So this is just a our test issue just to figure out what's going on um, and learned a lot. That's the big thing. So, so because of this, we now know the variations in how dark things are compared to the, uh, the, the file that we sent over to the printer so we can adjust for that variation. So that way with the final version, when it comes back, is much better. Yeah, there's been quite a bit of confusion and uh, some people talking about it. Uh, the the magazine is getting printed in the US. Um, yes. The, the, the printer that we have found is like a franchise printer. They have printers in the US, they have them in Europe, and they have them in Australia. Currently, with the size and scope and scale that, that this magazine currently is, everything's getting printed in the US because that's predominantly where our audience is. Um, all the Kickstarter stuff is getting printed in China because that is just where it is cheaper to do the manufacturing for everything. We are at the mercy of shipping and time delays uh, with that kind of thing. But the actual month to month magazine, um, it, it goes out a lot quicker. Um, so the, the, the demo that TJ has just shown is uh, off like a, it's, it's just off a quick digital printer, right? The, Right. Yeah. So uh, we they, they have for the short runs for the for like for the test run here that we did, they have a digital printer um, and then the actual the mass the mass production run um, will have uh, an actual um, a mass production printer. Uh, Heidelberg is the official name of the uh, of the type of printer that we're going to be printing on, which is one of the high end ones. So we're really excited about it. Color variations and all that stuff. That's that's basically the name of the game here, which it's been a fun journey learning from <laughs> going from the digital world to the print world. Um, so we do apologize for that. It's, it's, it's a learning process for us. Um, and we're learning something new every day. Um, so the big thing with uh, coming off of that um, is that, again, we're going to have the U.S. printer. Um, and everything is actually going to come right here. I'm going to be uh, touching every single one of these as I put them in the mail and distribute them out to everybody. Wash your hands. Make sure you wash your hands, TJ. Yes, it'll be, it'll be gloved. It'll be gloved. Yeah. So the the actual turnaround on the issues going out is basically off when it gets completed, then gets sent to the printer, gets printed and sent back to TJ, and then sent out again. So there is there is a process. It's something that will get quicker. And 
as CJ just mentioned, it's a learning process. Literally everything we're doing, we've we've not made a magazine before. Um, right. We've we've kind of like read up as much as we can, and we've learned a lot before we started doing it. But as with anything that has a a, a project that has this kind of scope, there's so many things we didn't know. <laughs> That's we start doing like, well, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're, 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 we're content creators. We've been in doing this for a long time. This particular process is the one thing that's that's been a been a journey. Like the the digital stuff, fine, totally cool. The foundry stuff, fine, totally cool. We know what we're doing. The print stuff, we thought we did. <laughs> yeah, but it's something new every day. Yeah, and for two for two guys, and it is predominantly so. The, as far as the company goes, there's me and TJ. We have Harrison that does uh, some of the Foundry content and he helps out with some extra bits. Um, and then we have a bunch of people that we hire on to do artwork. We've not had as many writers on yet. We, we, we want to kind of branch that out and bring more writers on. We want the magazine essentially to be a platform for different talent and showcase as many people as we can. Um, but on it that is... note, if you have writing samples, send them to info at crystalmag.com. I will read them. I will consider them and we will talk. Yeah, we are always looking for new people. Um, but the, the crux of it, the like 80% of the content outside of the artwork is us. It's me, TJ. Um, and so that means that when delays happen, delays happen. <laughs> uh, when when there's things like the web shop that take longer than you think, they take longer than you think. Um, so we've just been hamstrung a little bit by stuff. I think we're still on target with having an, a monthly release, which was always the plan. Um, our our ideal is that each issue is going to come out around about the fifteenth. We're already kind of like missed that for this current issue. Um, and for the video. Yeah. Um, that's kind of where we want to be. Uh, th our f our mindset, which has shifted, I think, since when we started the to, since it started the uh, Kickstarter to now, I think we're fully accepting that it's going to take us a while to learn out learn how to do all this stuff. It's going to take us a while to get our workflow as sharp as we want it to be. Um, we didn't have the budget to just hire on a bunch of people that could have done this other stuff. We've ended up having to do everything ourselves, which was slightly unexpected. Made with handcrafted artisanal. <laughs> yeah, handcrafted. Um, and so, yeah, so that's kind of where we're at. So the, the, the print magazine is going out. Um, I, I'm, I'm hopeful that people start receiving it in the next two, two weeks, there or thereabouts. It's going to depend on the printer. Yeah, it's uh, it's all about the paper. The, right now, paper shortages and and shipping. Shipping has been the number one thing that we've been banging our heads against because um, there's just no ETAs are just you know it feels like it's just a drunken spin of the wheel. Like yeah, they, it's we we get it when we get it. Um, no one's able to promise anything. Um, so granted, it's getting a lot better. And I think we're going to be having more of the issues with the stuff coming from overseas and then the, the print issue. Yeah. The print issue, I think, is going to be fairly, fairly straightforward, but it all comes down to how fast it can be printed. So that it can be it can be printed in a week. It could take two weeks. It's all depending on how much paper they have and and how much uh, how many projects they're working on at that given time. So it's it, there's, there's a variable in there, but we're hoping to have everything pretty quick. The turnaround should be should be quick. But again, first time working through this. We're going to learn the kinks this time, so the next time should be even faster. That's the idea. Yeah, I think our 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 general projection that we're aiming for is that, like right now, we we release the PDF and then we go through kind of like a post-release proofing stage where people can flag up like, hey, this is wrong and hey, that's wrong and inevitably, the moment we release stuff, we notice a million things that aren't right because we don't have an editor. We don't have a proofreader. We, we we don't have a budget to hire on additional people to do that kind of stuff. So everything that gets done, when 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 the, the the printed magazines arrive with TJ, TJ has to put everything into an envelope and he has to post everything and send everything. Which means while he's doing that, he's not writing. Um. So we're we're just in that awkward early startup stage at the moment. And um. Yep. Second to that, when these delays happen we don't want to put out an issue that shit. <laughs> yeah. 
that's the thing we, we get to put out one a month and when, when we've spent like the month making it if we get to the end and we go like there's still some things that need tweaking on it i want to tweak them i don't i i don't want to put something out that when it lands on in your email or on on your doorstep that you're like oh that 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 bit wasn't great um so yeah so there's kind of like stalls there's some self-imposed ones there's some in an ideal world an ideal world we would have a typical magazine lead time is anywhere between two three four up to six months on major magazines they have a huge lead time we are hand to mouth when it comes to when it comes to content on this right now so if we are producing and and as we're producing it once it gets done it's getting in the magazine and we're that's the magazine that's coming out so like we like it's, it's, right now as it, as it stands our production timeline is we are we are you know farm table at the moment <laughs> so yeah. um and it, 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 it's it's great of on one hand on the other hand because of the editing process the proofing process it it does leave us a, with a little bit of a of a lack in that department um so we the best we can do right now is 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 try to catch everything as much as possible and that's why we kind of have that like little bit of a delay in between producing the pdf versus getting the print out because that way it gives us a little bit more time to have you know this business this be blood our readers like we we take we take you we take you seriously and we want your opinion on things so we, we will make those adjustments based on what you tell us so that way when the the print copy goes out it's the best it can be up to that last minute there's a print copy show that show that print copy again tj <laughs> Yeah, this one right. Here. Yeah, have a flick through. Look at it. Let's have a little look through. Oh, so oh, 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 oh. very nice. It's got that fresh magazine smell still too. <laughs> so the thing, the thing, this bit of content, a lot of content. Big. Yeah, still going, still going, so thick and mighty. I think the best. I think this video is going to highlight. I mean, we're working. We're literally working on three issues at, at the moment. We're working on the one that's already gone. The one that we're about to release, and the one that we're going to be releasing next. So we we are we are spinning plates constantly. Um, so yeah, so we've gone over we've gone over the um, the issue one, Rising Tides. That's now fairly put to bed. I think we need we're going to be re-releasing the, the the updated PDF version. That should be going out soon. Yes. <laughs> Dude, um... there's, there's tweaks there's been uh, thankfully luckily what's been actually been nice is overall it's been very minor very yeah. minor 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 stuff uh yeah. it's it's like the, the big the biggest issue that we've had was made basically figuring out the color issues for going from the pdf to uh the print copy the, yeah. the pdf itself very the very very few issues um, I, I feel like the biggest one was and and we didn't even know how or why but it was literally on the Apple iPad native reader, for some reason, the logo oh, yeah. doesn't show on the front cover. Like I don't know why, why that it's would just happen. A weird thing. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's just a weird thing. Yeah. Um, but overall, overall, everything else is just like okay, yeah, it's it been been pretty pretty cool. Like and just you know, knock on wood, we can we continue to you know do that. Yeah. Um, but what's what's really fun though is is issue number two. That's that's actually going to be. I'm really excited about getting this one wrapped up. Um, I know we, we we are over we are a little a couple of days over our target goal, yeah. Um, but we're still well within our window for what we what we want to do. So it's like we're wrapping that up right now, putting the final touches on it, doing the final editing and proofing, making sure it's wrapped up before we get the PDF ready, um, and getting the Foundry module is the big thing too. So we want to make sure that the PDF and the Foundry module are both ready at the same time, so we're not piecemealing stuff out. Um, so, so, but because the foundry can't be made until the content is finished and wrapped up on one side, that it, 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 there's kind of a delay in that. So that's kind of where we stand right now. But we're on literally the final stages of finishing yeah. this up. We um, there, there were some issues this month, and there were real life real life issues that were just unavoidable. We had um, TJ had to suddenly move move apartments which became like suddenly having to find somewhere to live and then move all, all this stuff over that kind of wiped out pretty much a week and then when yeah. he moved when he moved into the new place there was the internet hadn't been connected like he thought it was going to be 
Yeah, yeah, no, and because it's a brand new apartment that they installed the wrong they installed, for for the for the nerds out there who know this stuff, they installed a coax cable instead of a fiber optics box. Yeah. And so I had to have people come back and forth. And if anyone knows Comcast, <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, so we had that. You yeah. um your your laptop broke earlier in the month. Motherboard fried. Fried motherboard. Um, yep. So I had to get send that out for repairs. That took a week and a half. Uh, it, it's just been it's just been a a fun fun June for me, and then into July. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's 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 uh it's, it was my welcome to turning forty. So. <laughs> but I do feel I do feel like th- those things that happened. Um, there's only so much that we made an allowance for them. The the work still has to go on. So it was like. It's been very, very many sleepless nights, um, and we're we're kind of getting there with the content. Like the the, the content is pretty much done. The, the thing that it takes a lot of the time is putting in in the layout and f- and kind of like getting things finally tweaked. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch over to let let me see whether I, I work this out properly or not. I'm gonna show yeah. some of the uh, the artwork and stuff. So TJ can't see what I'm showing, but you guys. Uh, you guys and gals can. Uh, so this is some of the artwork that we've got. This is the adventure artwork, and what we're seeing at the moment, TJ, is uh, for the necro- uh, the Black Skull Necropolis. Um, uh, so yes. This this is our artwork made by Beto Lima. Um, one of turning into our regulars, we kind of we've got like a little a little set group of artists now that are working really well. And they're already working on the next issue. We're going to show a few little things of issue three. But this is for issue two, Underworlds, which will be coming out um, within the next week, which you folks will get to see. Uh, and this is the, uh, yeah, the the Black Skull Necropolis. Do you want to tell us a little bit about the adventure, TJ? Uh, yeah, so this is a, a continuation of the Wrath of the Dreadlords um, uh, adventure path that was started in our uh, launch issue in the layers. Um, the artwork uh, is a representation of a very, very nice necromancer named Lady Deathbloom, who, who uh, the characters will meet, um, who's a part of the Black Skull Brotherhood, who's been mentioned in the previous uh, adventures. Um, it dives a little bit more into um, the Freelands lore with our um, with the Dwarven uh, kingdoms in the, mount- the Motionless Mountains. Um, kind of builds on the the backstory of um, the dwarven kingdoms being destroyed. Uh, the reason why the, uh, the 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 dwarves and are in, in, in the freelands are oceanic, um, which was which was brought in in Rising Tides. It kind of introduced introduced that. We're kind of going back a little further, showing like you know the uh, the remnants of the the, the dwarven kingdoms. Um, so there's a necropolis uh, that the the characters uh, eventually go into, find out a little bit of history there, um, and uh, come across, you know, uh, these necromancers um, who are trying to do something uh, and get something that the characters have um, in order to uh, I try not to give too much away here. It's it's <laughs> a, it's a lot of fun, uh, but yeah, it, it's there's 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 a lot of really fun. Um, encounters some tricky traps. So one of my favorite puzzles that I've ever put together. Um, <laughs> one, one, one that uh, I, I, I we had a, a lengthy discussion on, on making sure that it was uh, easily accessible to folks who don't have music knowledge. <laughs> um, so uh, it's it, there's there's a lot of fun a lot of fun things in there. Um, uh, some exciting history. Uh, some some really cool. Um, uh, yeah, some really cool encounters. Really looking forward to that one. Actually, uh, it's actually also one of the my favorite maps. Uh, I'm just showing, Alex I'm, here. I'm just showing the map now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That that's one of my favorite maps. There. Um, it's a nice big dungeon crawl with a lot of uh, really cool role playing opportunities. Um, some good exploration in there. Um, and yeah, and yeah, like that. That's a it's a, it's a really it's a really fun one. Um, spooky stuff. Undead ghosts, um, well, well, obviously undead ghosts, but undead and ghosts, um, and yeah, yeah. I have to say, I, I I do think this it is probably one of the best. No, no, one of the one of the best because I, I unless they have done some pretty good maps, but it is definitely one of my favorite uh, maps that I've done in, in a long time. Um, 
Okay, I'm going to flick over to, uh, let's see what next artwork's going to pop up. Okay, we've got the Forgotten Sewers. The Forgotten oh, Sewers. So this, forgot is our, this is our cover art, um, which some people will have already seen. But this is kind of the adventure artwork. Uh, one minute, I've got uh, TJ on the. Let me let me hide TJ's uh, mug because it's covering some of the artwork. One second. Um, so we've made this. I hid myself as well. We've made this. <laughs> I just I just realised that my, my my copy of Windows isn't registered because it's I I didn't I couldn't find my license key. So on the the stream, it actually shows activate Windows. Go to settings to. To act out. I do have a legit copy. I'm not a pirate, Mr. It's, Microsoft. It's an, off, it's, it's an off the cuff video. As again, like we're tr open and transparent. We're taking a break real quick to let you guys know what's going on because we're literally going right back to work when this is done. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. Uh, so this uh, this artwork was uh, so the, so the last one was made by Beto Lima. This one uh, was made by uh, Jonas Nathaniel. Uh, and it is our cover artwork. And this was part of our executive tier that we did with the Kickstarter. We had one person sign up to it, a guy called Tony. And the the character on the front cover is his character called Braz. Uh, and this is based around an adventure that he's originally had with his character where he found a baby Otagu. And Otagu? 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 Nobody knows. Otagu. Otagu. Okay. No, no, no. D&D Beyond has a... Uh, has tell you a, to pronounce uh, it. One of those things where you hit it, you hit it, and it pronounces it for you, like. Oh, oh. Okay, I, so how is it? One second. Oh, oh no, it's too late. No, that 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 moment. You, you'll tell me in a minute. Um. Okay. So this was the forgotten event. Uh, oh, sorry, the forgotten sewers. Um and. Odiug. 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 Um, and and this is a uh, a battle in the sewers between a tribe of were crocodiles and a tribe of were rats and you're trying to uncover just what the hell is going on down there um and i hated making this map which i'm gonna pull up now i'm gonna one second let me move it over because i'm gonna i'm gonna pull up the map for it i hated making this map so much i really like how it turned out but man this was just it just took it took so long let me let me get it off. There you go, folks. You can uh, you can check it out. So this is me having a little uh, a little walk around the map. So you come in, you're coming through this area, and you've got all these kind of like uh, little um, cisterns where all the shit and garbage kind of gathers up. And you've got this little area up here that leads into where the, the the rat folk live. And we've got a little puzzle here. We've got just um, it just took so long. I, I don't even know why it took so long. It was not a fun one to make, but at the end of it, and I find I find that with a lot of my maps. I don't know if you find that with writing. I hate it until mm. I finished and like, oh yeah, okay, that was all right. <laughs> I didn't I didn't mind it at the end. Yeah, it, it's it's definitely it's it's a, it's a process. Uh, I think with especially with the way that I write because it's such an iterative process where it's like you know plotting everything out, then fleshing it out more, the, the, the drafting process, it, it's, and it, it feels like sometimes it's like, you know me, I, I can get, I get too, I get too into it sometimes, right? Like, no, 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 I, 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 I too much writing, too much writing. Yeah, I got to scale it back a little bit. Like, you yeah. can, you can, not, not everything has to be a, a world-breaking cataclysmic adventure for, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry, level three, okay? You're not saving the world. Yeah. You're just saving down. Yeah, I, so it it might not be immediately apparent with those first two adventures, but they are they are big, they are wordy adventures, right? And the maps yes. kind of reflect that. I feel like I think there was there's over there's like I think there's twenty there's nineteen listed areas in the necropolis. Right. But man, there is some writing in some of those rooms some of those areas there's a lot of there's a lot of social stuff the puzzle is there's a lot of writing in that there's mm -hmm. a lot going on same with the forgotten sewers there is the 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 map and the things that you can do in the map but then there's so much sideline stuff that appears off the map oh there's a, there's a lot to play with in these places yeah. these these environments are not you know room one there's a rat on a pile of trash yeah. 
No. There, there, there's, there's stuff to do. There's there's lots of interactivity for the characters to kind of go in there, play around with stuff, poke at things, make mistakes, you know, wipe out entire tribes. Like, hey, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, the maps, and, and this will kind of, this will kind of like show itself in the actual issue. We had to trim down some elements, and we've actually had to remove. I, I, I think we're not doing the dialogue. We've, we're not doing the dialogues. We only had one person reply about the dialogues that sent us a message, so we're kind of like, okay, cool. But then we're like, uh, we kind of need the page space anyway, so we might address that yeah. person in a different one um, as a bit of a priority. But yeah, these adventures were so big, we have to be very, very mindful about page count. Um, yeah, that, that actually brings up a good point, too, because, you know, if we haven't said it before, we should say it now. If there are things like we, we, we would we really, really love feedback, both positive, negative, everything in between, um, because we, we, we do want to know what kind of content resonates with everybody. Because like, we're not just wanting to put stuff out that we like. We want to put stuff out that people will want to use. Um, so if they like, if there's certain content that you like or don't like, if you don't, if you like the adventuring days, we'll make more of the adventuring days. If you, if you don't like the blood board, we won't do the, put the blood board in. Um, if you, if you, if you want to see more supplements or locations like the Fort Mercy, let's, well, what we can do that we can put some more gazetteers together. We plan on doing these things anyway. We're go already going to rotate the content out, but if there's something that you like really don't like, or like really feels like, like pointless, or like you really do like and you want to see every single time, let us know. We take that into consideration. Like we listen to that. Yeah. So like one of the things is like the dire lords. We're not we're just really not getting a response from that. So we don't want like, well, let's let's there's better uses for those pages, um, that page count if, if for other content. So um if people don't want to have, you know, discussions with our dire lords, like, well, you know, well, we'll figure something out. <laughs> we spent so much time concepting them. God I mean, they, they, these guys don't know that, you know, that we had an entire, like, web series planned with these guys and animated shorts. Like, they, they, we, we had voiceovers. Like, they, we had a lot of plans for those guys. So if you guys want to get to know them, if you want to get to know the Dire Lords, you know, yeah. just send, a, send a, a, a letter over, ask a question, make a comment. Yeah, I think I've got, I, I made the video with Tony for the, creating the Dire Lords. I don't think I've released it yet. That'll have to mm. go out. Maybe, maybe, maybe people will be a bit more interested. We think they're cool anyway. But yeah, yeah. what we I'm think, laughing. what we think, really, really matters for this kind of thing. If you guys aren't into it, then here's what it is. Um, I, I've had on uh, on the screen for a minute. Um, while we were talking, it's just quick. So this is some quick vector artwork. Um, of the chase. So I'm not gonna go heavily into this because I think it's. It's going to be one. <laughs> this was my hard sell to TJ for this issue, where I, I've I've done I've done a chase. I've wrote something for this. I've wrote a chase adventure, and the concept is instead of doing a chase as a skill challenge, which I think is the most common way that people do chases these days, in uh, particularly in Five E, um, it is treating your chase as an adventure or as a dungeon where there are different areas that you go through and different things happen in them and different encounters in these different areas, i.e. you're running through a city, you're going through different districts, but it's a little bit more freeform. It's quite cool. It's more complex than... On paper, it's more complex. It's actually quite simple. It's actually not like... It's not too much, but uh, TJ wasn't overly sure about it. I think the more it's kind of firming up, he's happier <laughs> happier about uh, it. it it's 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 different right it, it, in, in the in in the spirit of honesty um i have always been of the mindset where if someone pitches an idea and i can't click it i can't see it i can't click onto it and i you know i i'm not seeing it in the same perspective um I, I I don't like I will never shoot it down. I just need to see it so I way I can see it from your perspective to give a to give a better uh get a better opinion. And it really wasn't until I saw we had, you know, things put on paper and things put together and seeing the structure of it 
to to be like, okay, yeah, yeah, I get this now. Yeah, I, I see where I see where your what, what your vision is, and that's 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 the thing about art, you know, whether whether it be writing, whether it be you know visually, like being able to see it from that artist's perspective is like a, that that just like visual art. It's like people see people see, look at the same thing and come away with ten different ideas. You know, it's yeah. it's. And until you actually get it in front of you, like you never know what it's going to be about. <laughs> I still don't know. I still don't know what this is going to feel like. <laughs> yeah. So I, I'm very interested to see what people's feedback is on it, because I think it's a very, yeah. it's a very different Alex, concept, right? Sure, eh? Yeah. Well, I mean, I've wrote, I've wrote stuff before, but yeah, this is my first time trying to write an adventure that isn't actually an adventure as well. I think I, I really like the concept. I think people will really like it. Um, I think there's definitely some cool ways of modifying it to make it your own, to make chases more meaningful than just, you know, a, a 20 minute long skill check. My, my yeah. concept was approaching this like, my initial thing was like, you watch James Bond and there's a chase sequence at the beginning, whether you're going down a snow, you know, a, a snowy alpine mountain or you're bombing it through the streets of Vienna or whatever. They're like 20 minutes of action packed stuff. Then I think you try to bottle that down into a few dice rolls. It just doesn't. It doesn't have the same impact. So I was trying yeah. to. If you want to chase, this is how you do a chase. And I think that's yeah. kind of gone. And, 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 and it, it really does go well because of the final adventure um, that you know in, in this series. Because so um, because the whole theme is underworld, right? Now the whole theme is underworld, and like that includes like not just like you know the underworld of the actual underworld of the sewers and everything that happens under, underground or like, you know, the, the, the undead underworld of the supernatural, like we, we, the, the thing was the criminal underworld was a big one for us. Um, and so with, with a chase, they say, well, the cha a, a chase is a perfect companion for a heist. Which I've, I've uh, got the artwork. And, I've got the artwork. So, so the artwork here is from Joe N. Brown. Uh, he has done the artwork for, the heist um oh i love this art yeah it's great it's a great piece joe's joe's been knocking me out of the park um like he he's uh definitely definitely done really well on this one it it, it perfectly encapsulates exactly what we were looking for um and it, it to, to to that extent um with we wanted to my idea for the heist is that classic oceans 11 kind of casino heist where you have you bring your team together each person has a role that they, they have to figure out how to infiltrate the casino and and every step of the way there's different things that happens that you have to make a decision with a with a with a, a positive outcome a negative outcome that furthers along the plan that you put together um and so you eventually you know come come out to the complete the heist mm -hmm. and find yourself in a chase. Um, so the, the it, they're, they're kind of companion adventures to a certain extent. Um, they can play. They they they're, they're designed just like all of our adventures to be played independently of each other. Um, the cool thing about Alex is is that they 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 are centered around a uh, a new series of mechanics. So it's it's really it's really fun to be able to just say like, okay, hey, use those mechanics there if you want to have a more detailed heist. Oh, sorry, a more detailed chase at the end of the heist. Or uh, I have also put together a, a, a more simplified classic 5e skill check uh, chase at the end of end of it. So it gives, it's all about options, right? So that, that's what the heist is, uh, is pretty much all about. It's about your options and, and the repercussions of your decisions. So just like any any heist, the you, plans go sideways, and you have to kind of uh, pivot and figure out what you're going to do next. Um, so that was a lot of fun. Um, definitely uh, one of, one of more fun maps too. I know I know Alex has had a lot of fun with it. <laughs> By fun being sarcastic. I I hate all I hate making maps. I hate all the maps until they're done, <laughs> yeah. and then I like the maps. <laughs> I like the final outcome. Um, but yeah, this uh, just to kind of like reiterate what TJ said. The, the heist will operate as its own thing. Then once you finish the heist, you can kind of finish it however you want to. You can choose to carry it on into the chase adventure. But if you don't want to use the chase adventure for the heist, you can use the chase adventure to tack it on to the end of anything. Anytime that your players 
need to run away, whether you know they've done an assassination, they're doing a jailbreak, they're escaping from uh, prison themselves. If you need a elaborate chase, that is what the essence of the chase adventure will be. Uh, yeah. and I'm, I'm pretty excited. It, to, it, to it see might it. come off as like an extended encounter, but it's really not. It, it, no, it really that's through is... us. We've tried to link it like, hey, look how it would follow on. But yeah, yeah. So we 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 like. It, it stands on its own as an independent, you know, um, module. Um, so you, like, you don't need to attach it to anything, you, but but it works best or it works well if you do. Like you, you can you can uh, you can start a chase scene in any way. So just like just like you have multiple quest quest hooks for a lot of different reasons why you start a chase. These guys might be chasing you for some unknown reason. You know, any 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 unknown reason. You can you can kick off a, a chase adventure. Um, you know, uh, what you call it? In 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 any way that you seem fit, uh, you deem fit. So it's like it, it is a standalone module by itself. Um, it just kind of leans more towards being a, a companion. Um, uh, what you call it? Uh, a companion piece to a another adventure. Yeah. Well, while you've been doing that, I've been showing off the uh, gibbering cultist <laughs> art. So Ooh, you you yeah, chat you yeah. chatting away, and I'm like, yeah, but look at this. Uh, this was done yeah, by yeah. this was done by uh, yeah. This was done by Wenart. Uh Wenart mm -hmm. Gundy. Gundy? Wenart Gundy? I think it's Wenart Gundy. Gundy. Yeah. Gundy. That's how we're gonna pronounce it. Um this was this is for the Forgotten the, the Forgotten Sewers. Um oh, just a great little piece. I'm just gonna I'm going through some of the uh the, the kind of inline artwork. We've got uh so that was from Wenart. We have got One Works who's done uh, I'll, give too, I'll give too much away now. Like, you know, oh, that means it's, it's all coming out now. I can't help myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but we're, so, we're, we're, so, we're so excited about this issue, yeah. and we, we wanted to give, we wanted it to be done, you know, a few days ago, you know. But obviously, there's been the delay. So we we do we do want to show you that yes, we've got so much ready for you in issue number two. Um, what would be cool though is if we show them some stuff from issue three because we do we are working on that already. We've already got writing started we've already got art started yeah okay i'm gonna show when i was just showing i just had up the uh the paladin mm. but but what you can you can get the issue and you can check the issue to find out who this paladin is this this rogue paladin <gasps> um okay so let's let's pull up some of the stuff from issue three um so issue three is going to be released in august um and this is mysteries and mishaps not gonna go too much into too many of the details. Oh no, I've gone. I've, I've gone into something there, which I, should, I didn't mean to go. In. There we go. Working image. So one of the things. So there's mysteries and mishaps. Uh, I've loaded up the the possessed. Um, mysteries and mishaps. It is mysteries. And it is mishaps. <laughs> so it's all it's all uh, puzzles and uh, mysteries and stuff. But then it's also traps and things like that. So one of the two subclasses that we are doing. Um is the possessed and this is going to be a warlock that uh, it's kind of like a warlock and instead of a patron patreon patron patron instead of having a patron that is kind of like um kind of like giving you your th their power through um kind of like that that kind of like standard link of an agreement or a pact this is yeah. you get possessed directly by your patron. Your so whether it, yeah. So whether it's a ghost, whether it's a demon, when they possess you, they give you elements of their abilities. So if you're possessed by a ghost, you might get some incorporeal thing where you can walk through walls and turn invisible and things like that. I don't know because it's not been written yet. We've just got some bits of artwork. <laughs> um, so so what you're kind of seeing at the moment is the sketch work, and we went with a very much a. This was TJ's idea. It was the. Um, Shadows of Mordor. Shadows of Mordor. There's like a really cool piece of artwork where you've got the main character and then you've got like the the ghostly uh, elven uh, ghost that kind of like kind of possesses you. That kind of like this half and half picture. So this artwork is just line work, but it's going to be a uh, human artwork and then you're going to have this like, ghostly tiefling that has possessed them. Uh, and there's going to be... We're aiming for like a bunch of roll tables and stuff, right? Yeah, so the, the 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 this subclass is going to include things like uh, because you know not, it's not just the fact that you have uh, you know a patron that gives you these abilities. Yeah, cool. We got you got the abilities, 
but you also have a direct link and tie to the being possessed. So they ha- they come with their own needs. They come with their own, uh, you know, their own motivations. Um, Un- they're, they unfinished also- business. Unfinished business, right? Mm-hmm. Exactly. So they have they have goals that they, that the, that they want to meet, just like um, a, a traditional patron. You know, they want you a warlock. They create a pact so that that warlock does the, what they furthers their own goals. Well, this is a more direct link, as in like there's only one patron, there's only one warlock. Um, so basically, it's it's like you you're getting all the attention. Um, so they they still have those motivations, they still have that goals, but they also have a more of a direct influence on the character itself. So there's there's going to be additional flaws that are that that can that can happen. So that 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 you might be trying to fight against but because that patron has that influence on you you're going to find yourself being influenced a little bit by that so it it, it creates a, a kind of a unique role playing opportunity to be able to have you know basically a voice in your head that's that's literally telling you what to do <laughs> yeah it's a nice tool for both player and the dm right cuz i feel like warlock yeah. stuff having your patron contact you it always seems like a little bit cloak and dagger it needs to be like more of a sideline thing like hey okay they've said this to you whereas i feel like if it's kind of out there that your character is possessed it's like okay you're not the voice they, they were speaking to me again i think i think it'd be pretty interesting and it's got a really yeah. it's got a really so this is the possessed which is one of the subclasses i'm not going to say what the other one is but we've got a really good counter subclass to go with it yeah. we've got two really yeah. really good subclasses um yeah so so to go along with like kind of like expanding the mysteries and mishaps uh kind of theme is when we when we when we were coming up with this concept it was you know we wanted to have something that had a, a little, some more puzzles you know that, that and traps um and we kind of kind of leaned a little into the supernatural when it comes to comes to that too um so a, a, a lot of uh the flavoring that we have with that is is a lot of this, you know, otherworldly kind of things, um, wh- whether it's going to be, you know, being transported to other planes of existence or, you know, coming across, you know, uh, some very, uh, how do, I don't, I don't want to give away the, the, our, our haunted house. Like, we do have a haunted house, and it's like, you would don't, think it's just... Yeah, yeah, We've never released this issue too yet. We can't be telling them everything that happens in issue know, three. We have so many great... But we're excited. Being, I guess to kind of wrap this up a little bit, because I know we've kind of gone gone pretty far into this, mm, yeah. um, is is the, simply the fact that we want you, everyone to know that even though this is taking a little bit of time, we want to be forthright. We want to be open about things to, just to show you that, to let you know, like, yeah, things are in the works. We've got a lot of irons in the fire. Um, like, not only are we finishing up, you know, the last issue, we're well into uh, wrapping up this this current issue. We've got we've actually got plans already put in place for the next what two three issues. Oh, we know what we know what they're going to be. We know what the themes are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We've we've already got themes planned out. We've already got some ideas, you know, thrown in thrown into the mix. Um, like it, it's it's a nonstop nonstop process. So um, the the big thing is we just want everyone to know it's like we 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 you know. We are we are doing the best we can to get everything out on time. Life gets in the way sometimes. Yeah. Uh, produ- the pr- production schedule is is what it is currently. And until we can build another staff, like you, you're looking at the staff basically right here. Um, like we are owner operators, and it's like the, the, the working out of our homes here. <laughs> Dead serious. Um, it's it's just one of those things where we're working because we love this stuff. You know, we we love making this stuff. It's what we it's it's someone I was talking to somebody just the other day. It's like ten o'clock at night, and like she's she was messaging me like, "Hey, so you know, I'm a, you still working?" I'm like, "Yeah, still working." He's like, "Hi, dude, don't you take a break?" I'm like, "Well, I mean, this is my this is, this is not just my work; it's my hobby. I love what I do. I can I can when I get an idea for writing, it doesn't matter if it's one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning. I'll jump up and I'll just start 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 going at it. Yeah, this is what we love to do." And we want to, we, we really like sharing that with everyone. Um, and we appreciate every comment. We appreciate 
everyone reaching out, whether even if it's critical, like we, we, we sometimes we want that more than we want the, the accolades. Like we like we want. Well, you do. <laughs> I'm fine yeah. just telling me my stuff's good. <laughs> yeah, tell tell Alex that his stuff is okay. Tell me my stuff sucks so I can get better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so the, the the basically what it boils down to is this, is that we are building this up from scratch, from the ground up, and it's only been able to be able to do that because of everyone who uh, backed us on the Kickstarter. We would not be here right now. Of right now without the kickstarter 100 percent. yeah and so like so that we want to make sure that you guys all get what you paid for what you want um and the, the the best quality that we can produce in as timely as a manner as we possibly can um and be honest and not straightforward about things um our goal is once we hit, hit certain milestones and the and the uh oh so issue three Issue six, you know, the, those once we get transitions over into uh, certain milestones, we're going to have more income coming in that's directly from subscribers as opposed to just from the backers. Because the backer money that all goes towards the backer stuff. That's there, there's no this thing. We 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 don't get paid for making this magazine at the moment. Yep. Like literally, even... all the money, like half of it goes to manufacturing and shipping. The rest of it goes to paying artists to make cool stuff to make this happen. Like me and TJ work for free. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. 100%. Like we we are we are doing this in the hopes that once issue six is over, we have enough subscribers and people who like this to go from being a backer to a subscriber. So so please, uh, just we're throwing this out there. Just be be aware that if you really like this and you want to con con uh, see it continue, please consider hopping onto the uh, subscribe uh, subscribing through our web shop, which is coming soon. We promise. You can't subscribe uh, through the web shop. You're not going to be able to subscribe to the web show. You can buy, <laughs> buy, buy, buy as in buying through the website. Sure. Uh, yeah, it will yes, be. Buy. It will be coming soon. Again, just one of the many things that we're learning the back end process of web shop design. Yes. Um, but yes, yeah, so basically, just as a heads up, like that, that's what that's where we're at. That's what we're doing. Um, and yeah, we're just going to keep plugging away, keep doing this stuff, but. We don't want to leave anyone in the dark. Yeah. Uh, we know that we're fairly quiet on social media. We apologize for that. We do have a social media guy who's eventually going to be uh, taking to, taking care of us in that regard. Um, it's mostly just because what we do is just produce. That's this is the thing. We, it, we, we can either choose... And we're very conscious. And like I think we're, I think this video has been good. I think we'll probably try and do more of these because I feel like we yeah. can get out more information um, a lot quicker. Um but it is one of those things where every time you kind of like take a break to post on Twitter, take a break to post on uh, Facebook or do social media or make a video or do whatever, it's time that we're not making content for the magazine. And at the moment, especially with like months like this month has been, we're constantly like, I've not got the time to do those little things. And those are the things that we're aware that need doing. We're aware that we need to kind of like, you just need more hands. We just need more hands. And that's what we're, and then that's what we're that's what we're hoping to do. So like to to to, to wrap up what I was going to say was basically, once we have that those that additional income coming in from regular um, from regular uh, people paying in um, outside of the backers from Kickstarter, that and we 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 have the overhead for future issues covered. Then we can start, we're starting to look into staffing. Like yeah. again, not even paying ourselves. We're looking to hire other people to make it, make it so that way we can get things done faster, yeah. more on time, and, and, and again, the best quality possible. Yeah. Right then. Well, I was going to show some of the more art, but I think I think we should just save that for another time. Yeah. Yeah. You can't give away everything. Uh, and literally, right all, all I'd have to do is push this button here, and it would skip to the next image, and they would see. Oh yeah, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. We'll show it. We'll show it uh, into next month. Um, some of the, the the cool stuff that we've got going on. Um, so much cool stuff we do. Like I'll be honest, like I get excited every time. I, every yeah. time I sit down, I'm taking a look at what we're working on. It's just like, man, I'm so excited for this stuff. We should do that. We should do. Uh, we should record one of our brainstorm sessions where we just yeah come come up with all all the stuff that we do. Um, okay, we're gonna call that. That's like 50 minutes. That's a 50 minute. 50 minute uh, video that's pretty good there we go i think yeah, we've, not at all i think i think we've gone through everything that we need to talk about uh 
as AJ said, you know, we, we're only we're only here and we're only able to do this because of all the help that uh, you folks have given us, all the support, uh, and so we are we're humbled and we we massively appreciate it. Um, and all we want to do is give all of you a product that you love, a product that you want to keep supporting, and um, just something that that we because we're fans of it. We want to put out stuff that we love. Um, so thank you for putting us here, and hopefully um, you will continue uh, with your support. Continue spreading the word. Let other people know about us. That is going to help us, and by proxy, help you all as well. Um, but yeah, keep uh, keep an eye out. The next issue, issue two, uh, Underworld, will be coming out uh, this week, and then after that is going to be mysteries and mishaps, and we'll be releasing a few more videos, sneak peeks, and updates either uh, through the Kickstarter updates. Uh, we've started pushing out stuff on our newsletter. If you're not subscribed to our newsletter, it's as good a place as any to find out stuff about us, which is uh, go to cruciblemag.com. Uh, we've got a new website that's going to be published soon, but you can sign up to our newsletter uh, over there. Uh, our, you can come and check out our Discord. There's links all throughout this Kickstarter page. There's links on the, the website as well, where we ultimately would, would like to grow a bit of a community uh, of you folks giving us feedback, uh, helping us talk about stuff, telling us what you do and don't like. Uh, but in general, um, yeah, those, those are places that you can find us. Um, so thanks for watching the video thanks for sticking with us for this long it's been nice to meet you yeah, it's been this long we know we know we we appreciate you yeah yeah we've committed 50 minutes to not making the next issue i don't know where we're going to find that tj um so yes, yeah no, it's back to work no, it's, it's uh the the the, the shot collar around the ankle is starting to buzz so yeah <laughs> uh so okay there you go that's it everybody uh, thank you for watching and uh uh, just just because I, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be all all cool and go. Okay, don't <laughs> do it. Don't do it. I'm gonna go. Don't. Ready for an adventure? <laughs> this week. This week. Sorry, mom. Uh, no, it is a, it is a great tagline though. It is such a great tagline. Okay, guys, thank you so much for everything. Really appreciate you. Um, and yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye.